Hey everybody and thanks for watching today. Uh, I've been getting a lot of requests on my opinion on uh, the Razer Raiju controller. So today I've got it. We're going to go over it. What I like about it. What's not so great about it. Compare it to a scuff. Compare it to a standard controller. Um, and why this has become uh, my favorite controller. Uh, and I don't really use anything else now that I have this available to me. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching. Alright, so let's talk about these controllers. So in front of you we have a Razer Raiju, a standard uh, PS4 controller with a Collective Mind Strike Pack on the back, and then we also have a Scuff Infinity 4PS controller, dual paddles, uh, and then some custom sticks uh, added to it. Uh, so let's quickly discuss what I like and don't like about these. Um, things I liked about the Razer, um, the weight was fantastic. I think it was built really well. Um, it's wider than you're going to see on the other ones, which is more of an Xbox grip. It's a very wide, very, very beefy grip um, compared to, you know, you can really wrap your hands around a standard PS4 controller. Um, and the Scuff Infinity is the same because it's the same unit just with some, some add-ons to it. Um, so when discussing these three controllers, um, Overall, the, the Razer is my favorite, and I'll, and I'll go over that why at, why at the end. Um, but just some other advantages, disadvantages here. Um, the Razer has these standard, um, about the same height by default as the PlayStation ones. I think they're just slightly taller, I mean, just barely taller by default. Um, but they actually come, um, not exactly this one, but a... Uh, two blue little rubber pads that you can add on to it um, like you would a scuff but they're cheap they're like 50 little 50 cent items uh, which I think is fantastic because they expect you to wear out uh, the covering on the controller <laughs> as you can see from an older one uh, that I have here Let's see if I can get it to focus I have worn out completely the grip on that controller uh, which is kind of disappointing because that's the stock so that is I think is a great job on Razer's part to plan for that um, because they're just kind of expecting it. they give you a very basic stick because they expect you to add something onto it which I think is great and on the scuff you can actually get these custom analog sticks uh, with varying heights and different shapes and they feel great but they wear out really really easily um, in fact I've gone through two pairs in about a year so that was really disappointing, considering I paid 150 bucks for the controller, and then I got to throw down another 40 bucks on analog sticks to just keep using it over the course of the next year. It was uh, pretty disappointing. So on to the paddles, um, or or triggers in the case of the Raiju. Um, they're mechanical, unlike the scuff ones. The scuff ones, I'm really disappointed because I really feel like sometimes, like to get them to activate, you really have to like. You really have to jam on them sometimes, like really like push them down because they just don't want to go off. With, especially when you're like trying to tighten skate or something, that's really obnoxious. But with the Raiju um, and these being mechanical actuations, um, it's a really short trigger and it's super consistent, uh, which I absolutely love. Um, both the Scuff and the Razor have short throw trigger options, as you can see here, so it keeps. Um, the trigger pull nice and short, um, as I have also here on the scuff short or on the Raiju. I'm sorry, um, full pull and then short pull, which is great. Love it. Um, they both have headphone jacks as standard, um, but the Raiju actually has a mute and a volume adjustment. If you're running a wired headset, it does not work on the wireless versions. Just just if you're running it actually out through um, the, the 3.5 millimeter jack on the bottom, which is pretty nice um, if you're running a wired headset. Um, I've used it a few times. Comes in kind of handy. Um, and then there's also here a um, quick remap option, so you can actually have two uh, programmed interfaces, so you can set it up. Um, for different games uh, and have your your kind of special loadouts however you want them. Um, the other things to keep in mind is that the scuff is wireless, whereas the Raiju is hardwired only, uh, which is a big deal. If you get the new scuff impacts, they have the options to be wireless or wired, but the Ra Razer Raiju is wired only. 
good to know. And then if you're going to use a Collective Mind Strike Pack, which is like the $40 version, uh, just adding it onto a regular controller, which is great if you've never used paddles before and you want to try it. Um, the the way you know you can see how it's a little more of a side to side pull, whereas the other ones are a, a uh, an up down trigger actuation, um, which is is different, but it, it works it works well. But this is also a hardwired only option if you want to use the paddles. Uh, without the paddles, the controller itself will still work standard. Um, but if you hook up the the strike pack and you want to use the paddles or any of its mods, you have to be hardwired. Um, other than that, I'll just say that I, I'm really loving the Raiju. I just can't get enough of it. Um, the weight feels good. The buttons actually, I mean, even, even the, you know, I mentioned that the back triggers were, um, mechanical, but the front triggers are mechanical as well. Um, which is, it just feels good. It, it, it works well. Um, I rarely use the middle one and middle two buttons here, but I have mapped both to triangle, um, so I can swap weapons while I'm playing Destiny. That's, that's what I, you know, do mostly. Um, but yeah, when it, you compare it to the Scuff, which I've had for about a year, and I've now been using the Raiju for about three months, um, for the price, um, I'd get the Raiju. Um, it comes, I can get it through Amazon Prime, so you get free two-day shipping. Um, it's 150 bucks, um, about the same price as the Scuff is right now. And then the Razor includes a uh, case uh, for it, which includes a little screwdriver, so you can remove the triggers uh, in the back if you want to. Whereas I had to pay an extra 15 bucks to get the Scuff case. Um, so there's an additional savings there. Um, and then the razor, as you can kind of see hanging off the edge of the screen here, bringing in, gives you a real nice braided uh, uh, micro USB cable um, included with it. So let me know what you guys think. Um, if you have one of these controllers and you think one of them is better than the other, let me know in the comments box. And uh, you all have.